Hello friends, welcome to Selenium exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with design of reinforced concrete elements in the topic of uh, yield line theory. So the design of slab, so the right angle triangle slab is simply supported at the adjacent edges AB and BC. So the side AB is 4 meter, BC is 3 meter, then CA is 5 meter. So the slab is isotropically reinforced with 10 mm diabars at 100 mm center to center spacing both ways at the average effective or depth of 120 mm so the small d is 120 mm and the overall depth is 150 mm then fck characteristics compressive strength after 28 days is 20 newton per mm square so then fy steel is uh, 415 newton per mm square estimate the safe permissible service load on the slab okay so now we can draw the slab so uh, this is simply supported so in knee line theory we denoted like this the simply supported beam okay so we can call it as a b and c okay so the a b is 4 meter so then b c is 3 meter so then c a is 5 meter okay so the e line will be like this so the tension in the bottom side okay so now we can uh, calculate the permissible service load okay so first thing is we have to find out the total load after that we can find out the dead load so from the total load minus dead load we can find out the service load okay so now so the given data is length of slab is equal to 4 meter so then alpha l equal to 3 meter so then fck is 20 newton per mm square then fy value is uh, 415 newton per mm square so then overall depth equal to 150 mm so then effective depth d equal to 120 mm okay so reinforcement 10 mm dia bars at 100 mm spacing center to center okay so these are all the given values so first thing is we have to find out the ast value so ast so the ast is given that is uh, 10 mm dia bars and 100 mm center to center spacing so now we can take so at 1 meter so the area of uh, reinforcement is pi by 4 into d square so that is 10 square divided by spacing that is 100 mm okay so now we got the value of 785 mm square per meter okay so uh, this is the area so next thing is we can find out the yield moment so our ultimate moment So ultimate moment we uh, we call it as mu equal to so we know the formula 0.87 fy ast into d into 1 minus ast into fy divided by fck b into d okay so we can substitute all the values over here so we know all the values just 0 0.87 fy value is 415 into ast value is uh, 785 into d is 120 okay so 1 minus ast value is 785 into fy value is 415 divided by fck is 20 and b value is 120 into 1000 sorry b value is 1000 and d value is 120 okay so now solving this we got the value of 29 into 10 power 6 newton mm okay so we can convert into meter so that is 29 kilo newton meter okay so in newton convert into 10 power 3 and meter convert into 10 power 3 so 10 power 6 so we can uh, call it as 29 kilo newton per meter so now we can find out the ultimate load on slab So ultimate load on slab so we know the formula w u equal to 6 into m u divided by alpha l square okay so now 6 into m u is 20 sorry uh, m u is 29 divided by alpha value is 0 0.75 into 4 square okay so now we got the value of 14.5 kilo newton per meter square okay so now we can get the service load 
सो टोटल सर्विस लोड इक्वल टू 14.5 divided by 1.5. Okay, so the 1.5 is factor of safety. So now we got the value of 9.6 kN per meter square. Okay, so from that we can find out the dead load. So dead load equal to so total dead load equal to 0.15 into 25. So 25 is the uh, unit weight of concrete and uh, 0.15 is the depth of slab. So now we got the value of 3.75 kN per meter square okay so now we got the service load service live load equal to 9.66 minus we can subtract the dead load so that is 3.75 so now we got the value of 5.91 kilonewton per meter square okay so this is the total service live load so this is the method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you